Scientists in Britain say a devastating bee disease is being spread around the world by imports and exports of commercial honeybees. They say the virus, acting alongside the parasitic varroa mite, has already killed off millions of colonies of bees. Uh, let's speak to Laura Brettel, a scientist involved in the research of this uh, report at the University of Salford. She joins us now from our studio there. Uh, just tell us more ab about this disease then and, and how it's physically transmitted. Hi there. Um, yeah, so the disease deforming virus causes the characteristics defor of deformed wings um, in some honeybees, which makes them unable to fly. But that only happens in a, number, in a small number of honeybees. In general, the bigger problem is that the, um, the whole colony becomes infected by large amounts of the virus, and that colony then becomes weaker. It's then less able to survive secondary pathogens, infections, and also any other um, challenges the colony faces. Um, from the environmental change, Okay, so, 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 so that's why it's man-made, because of imports and exports. And, uh, I mean, our bee population's already in pretty dire trouble as well, isn't it? Um, yeah, there is a number of, of uh, factors affecting the bees at the moment and causing their declines, but um, this, this virus is, is really one of the, the major pathogen that's affecting the bees at the moment. It's causing the, the biggest problem. Um, and its transmission, its association and transmission by the parasitic varroa mite that lives in the hives. Right, and, and so w what is the, the potential danger to, to, to the, the bee population and indeed how important they are, you know, in terms of the, the natural plant life, not, let alone honey? Um, yeah, uh, yeah, obviously honeybees are really important and they have suffered massive losses and this virus has already been a massive problem for the bees and has resulted in the death of millions of colonies. Um, what's also a, a problem potentially in the future is spread of this virus beyond honeybees to other kinds of bees and other other pollinators. So the effects could be a lot wider reaching than than we know so far. All right. Okay, uh, Laura Brettel, thank you very much uh, indeed.